This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. Whether it's an officer or a citizen, that could be construed as lethal force. Reno police broke up this fight this past weekend that they say could have ended badly without the use of force by the officers involved. Find out how in our Channel 2 News Big Story at 5.30. Well, videos of that fight by the Reno Arch early Sunday morning have really gone viral with thousands of views on the Internet. Good evening. I'm Kristen Remington. I'm Wendy DeMonte. Thank you for joining us tonight. They show an officer tasing a woman during that fight in downtown Reno in what police say was justifiable use of hmm. force. Amanda Ketchelich is live in the studio after talking with Reno police officers. Amanda. Well, in one video, it is difficult to see that the woman tase had a weapon in her hand, one that police say could have been a lot of damage to people and they told us that by using non -lethal, lethal force it protected not only the officers involved but also other bystanders police say this was the end to a fight in downtown reno this weekend officers arrested 28 year old lena conway 26 year old joshua aguilar and 21 year old taryn david williams afterwards Witnesses posted videos that show all three people in a fight with several other people involved. And in both videos, it shows police arriving on the scene. And in one video, Conway possibly trying to de-escalate the situation, but police are asking Conway to put down her weapon. In a different video, it shows one officer holding down a man involved in the fight when a second officer tases Conway. Police say she was holding a metal baton called an ASP. It's similar to uh, the weapon that police officers use for, uh, which is a less lethal uh, metal rod that collapses and stores on our duty belt. And that's what she had in her possession. And police say it is a dangerous weapon that could kill someone. It's a piece of metal. Uh, the aspiton can tear skin, it can break bones. Officer Tim Broadway says that's why using a less lethal force like the taser in this fight was justified. Officers in this case uh, could potentially have used lethal force because the weapon is a d dangerous weapon and can kill someone, but the officers did use less lethal, the taser, to neutralize the female. In Reno, police tell us every time a less lethal weapon is used, the Internal Affairs Department reviews the case to see if the force was justified or not. And they tell us that so far the investigation into this case shows that it was justified. Covering Crime Beat live in the newsroom, Amanda Kachlich, Channel 2 News.